Hey everyone, this is me again on a person back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be unboxing but not necessarily reviewing the collector's edition um, Undertaker, the 30 years anniversary Undertaker right here. This is, I don't, I did not see when, what episode or, or when he wore this, but I, to my understanding, I, this is the last time we ever saw him live. This was the last attire that we saw him in. And, uh, I'm definitely gonna go see if I can find that, but, yeah. So there he is, debut, 2002, 2003 Biker Undertaker, and what he looks like now. So we're gonna go ahead and pop him open, kind of overview him, give him a little bit of attention, and he's gonna go right into my shelf. Alright, so there he is in all of his Undertaker glory, and before we get started, if you're asking about these guys in the background, they're just new figures that I got, and I have no room for them on the shelf or anywhere, and I don't want to really put them away because I like looking at them anyway they're just here for now just ignore them so yes he does come with uh, two extra accessories and I mean hands and this is what he looks like so if you just stop focusing on Booker T for a second thank you um yeah this coat is really nice and I can tell already that the coat is a bit, little bit of a different material than what we are used to um it is it does look like a different coat mold um and also, it's different. It's not as hard as they, as the one that we're used to, I guess. The one they used to make. Um, the other ones, the one with like the Elite One, the Elite Twenty Three, those really hard rubbery coats. This one is a little bit less hard. It's more rubbery and and a little bit more flexible. So that's pretty good. Um, he does come with this hat, normal hat, and there's this face scan. Which let's take a look at that one. It is a new face, and yeah, this is an older Undertaker, or I guess the updated Undertaker, um, one that is, you know, ready to retire. It's not the, ooh, it's not the old man, I mean, the young man that we used to, that we're used to, I guess, not used to, but, you know, he's not his young self anymore. So, let's see, we can take this off, it's not that hard, but it gets stuck right there. Alright, there we go. And, uh, yeah, his torso is also different. Oh, God. Okay. Um, yeah, he's a little bit bigger. Not that ripped anymore. He has a little bit more gut, I guess. He has an old, a little bit of an older man body. He has the, you could say the Elite 18 legs. Um, it's not the tights anymore. It's more uh, baggy pants. But I mean, yeah, there you go, and, and his boots. Um, but yeah, I really do like this Undertaker. It's a really nice last, I guess, figure. I'm not sure this is going to be the last figure we ever get from him, but, you know, the last version that we ever get to see from him. There you go, all tatted up. His tattoo's under his chin, or on his neck. Um, yeah, the belt. Really nice. He has a fade right there, probably from, oh yeah, the, the receding hairline, I guess, yeah. And um, the only other figure I guess I have to compare him to, because um, I don't have a debut Undertaker, that would be preferable, is my Elite 23. So uh, yeah, there they are side by side, and you can definitely tell that um, there are a lot of differences, of course, between them, age, this one is a little bit more slender. He also seems to be standing a little bit taller than him, but it would kind of make sense, and it's, I would say it's accurate, because, you know, younger people, they, you know, we stand taller, more confident. This this man, he's just, you know, he's probably a little bit, you know, probably has a little bit of a hunchback, a little bit older, um, but yeah, pretty cool. These are both really, really good Undertaker head scans. I think they nailed both of them. Um... Yeah, let's see what they look like with, with all their, their stuff on. So yeah, there they are, both of them, side by side. Pretty cool, pretty nice. Nice to see <clears throat> the comparison, I guess, the difference. Um, I guess in everything, not just The Undertaker, but also in the quality that Mattel, you know. And then I guess the changes that Mattel has made throughout the years. Obviously, this one came with a horrible rubber coat, and I made it better, but, you know. Not just that, just, you know, also the detail and the amount of accessory. What is going on with the with the camera? Here we go. 
the detail and the accessories and things like that, you know, different, different eras, different, I guess, types of murder takers. We can definitely appreciate the difference in them. That's the really nice thing, I think. Undertaker has been a really consistent character. He's never really been anything else but a really scary, big, choke slamming man that you're supposed to be terrified of, you know, a demon, someone, you know, like death itself. Um, but I think it's really cool how he, even within that really specific character, he has managed to bring it to life in very, like, many different forms and different attires, different, you know, colors, you know, ties. He had a mask one time, you know. He, I think he did a wonderful job. This, this, he is definitely one of, if not the greatest wrestler or, you know, in-ring performer uh, of all time. One of the greatest, you know, personalities in WWE of all time. So he definitely deserves all the respect and all the, all the hype that he gets. It is not, uh, you know, under-deserved at all or, or over-hyped at all. It's, it's exactly what it is, if not more. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the little overview that I wanted to make about this figure. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. This was on a person, and I am signing out.